Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights with Malcolm Maestro Erickson, the paladin who has just earned himself a pub in the Black Lake District. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that uh, skill check passed, but oh well. What can you do? Oi, what can I get ya? Well, not boss. What can I do for you? Well, what do I have to do now that I own the bar? Well, the last owner, Claudus, he set the things up so he didn't have to do a thing. He was always busy with this or that. Anyway, all you need to do is come in every week or so and I'll give you the profits that we've made. You won't get rich, but it's better than nothing. Besides, I can tell you'd rather be out adventuring and such. You look like the type. Sounds dangerous to me, but I bet there's good coin in it. Oh, just give me the earnings for the week. There haven't been many customers since the gauntlet shut down, but the plague is the real cause of how slow it's been here. Business is literally dying off. He's always made 50 gold. Like I said, it's not a lot. Goodbye. Another time, friend. That's pretty much the only time I've ever checked if I could get anything. Gosh, you spend a lot of the game away from Neverwinter, so there's not really any chance to uh, see anything. To uh, get back to the Black Lake to find out what the heck is going on. Alright, this doesn't have a name. Ooh, Pumpkin. What are you doing on the streets? Hi there. You nice? You look nice. Mama says lots of people aren't nice. Maybe even downstairs. What's downstairs? Is there something in your house? Yeah. There's something behind the bookcase. But Mommy says not to talk about... Uh, I can't say anymore. I don't want Mama to know I know the secret word. You maybe go talk to her about it, okay? Oh, secret word? Tell me about it. We're friends, right? Would you like some candy before you step in my van? Well, I guess. Just don't tell Mom. I hide behind the bookshelf. You say a word and it opens. It's a silly word, though. The word is HALUF. I don't know what it means. It opens the shelf when you say it. Weird, eh? You shouldn't be outside, it's dangerous. I suppose. But Mama doesn't mind. She says people get sick at home, at work, and at church. So what's wrong with me being in the street? Besides, she was mad because I went behind the bookcase again. Since it's not good to be there. Okay, goodbye and stuff. Right, so that's a clue if I ever heard one. For the, uh, the whole stuff with the Hallowef uh, artifacts. I could go down there, but I don't feel like it. Not just yet. Let's do some more exploring around here. I mean, not, as it, not that there is much to explore in the Black Lake District. I mean, I could have bought the map and just found everything out anyway, but... Let's see, there's just some more citizens over here. It's a very neat water feature you have, but... Again... I'm not entirely certain what the purpose of it is. That's all the stuff from back here. Nope, some barrels. Right, some barrels. All right, let's have a talk with Pumpkin's mummy. No, oh, no, no, no. Open this, please, Mister on the gallows. Oh, and done. there we go. This woman looks nervous. Perhaps it's just a plague, but she keeps glancing around her home in an odd manner. Hello there. Begging your pardon, but why are you in my home? Not that nobility or the like can't go wherever they want. Uh, and there's no reason you shouldn't go where you want. Really, I did mean to cause a fuss. My name's Telma. I, if you want to know. 
I just want to ask you some questions. I suppose. Is there a reason you are here? Again, I don't really mean to object, but if there's nothing, nothing here for you... Do you know of anything odd? Any rumors? No! I mean, of course not. Why would I know of anything odd? I mean, there's the plague, of course. What else needs to be happening besides that? You seem agitated. Is there something hidden here? I... well, I didn't mean to give the impression that... Oh, the hell with it. It looks like you already... you know already. There's something under my house. Let's see. We were digging a... storage place. Behind the bookcase and down... well... to hide things from the city guards. It didn't pan out, though. There's... something not right down there. There's a door we could never open and sounds that come from behind it. Look at the bookcase and say the word Hallowath. You'll see for yourself. What kind of sounds? Would you go poking around in the dark? Maybe. But maybe you could handle it if you found something. Me? I just get killed. I'm going to look alright. That's your decision, I guess. The entrance is hidden behind the bookcase. Please, just try not to stir anything up. I have to live here. Well, that's kind of nasty. Alright, bookshelf. We say the word Hallowath. And we're downstairs. Ooh, undead things. Why would there be undead things over here? Well, at least they have found another one of these chests with a note that says a splinter that delivered in flight. Well, that is an arrow, of course. Alright, that's dealt with. That's one more piece of crap not in my inventory anymore. Skeleton knuckle. Well, I'll pick up one, but I don't really need it for anything else. Let's see, there's nothing over here. Nothing over there. There is a long hallway over here, with a chest that has scorch marks around it. <laughs> well, let's hope that Tommy has leveled up his lockpicking skill and find traps. And all that. Alright, let's get rid of that poison... or uh, disease. And it was a success. All right, Mr. On the Gallows. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, it's done. Hmm, not the greatest, but it's something. And now I'm hurt. Alright, let's give this a whirl, since I'm not likely to level anytime soon. Well, I might level, but that's kind of unlikely to happen any time before I uh, get back here. So, let's have a look at how difficult this particular instance is going to be. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with Divine Favor and... Uh, Deafening clang for now. And a potion of bless. Alright then, let's go. Swords of Never. Very difficult. The great sword is an impressive weapon by any measure. It's up in two hand. We'll talk about the largest creatures. <laughs> Ouch. Ah. 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 Alright, so just 
very difficult overall. I have only one potion of box skin. Run and die. There's always the dying. If only there was something I could use. But I don't have any any wands of summon creatures. Well, that doesn't help. This is one of the more difficult fights in this chapter. And I kinda wish I had more abilities I could throw against it. But I don't. I don't have anything I can throw against it. Because the swords, as far as I can tell, are not evil. Uh, let's just get all the potions going. So we'll just have to be a little bit smarter about this. Nope, you stay here with me. Stand still so I can hit you! Admittedly, this is not one of my brightest ideas, but let's give it a try anyway. You are a wealth we are all eagerly awaiting. Just heal me. Of course, I will uh, oops, That's the wrong button. And yeah, I'm not gonna bother with potions. Let's just get back into the fight. Fifty gold to beat these swords. Ah! 
Well, that's not good. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. Ha! Come on, just kill it. Starting to piss me off a little bit. Tom's halfling dead. Tommy, would you please not be suicidal? Kill one. And I'm dead. Uh, God, this is gonna be a very boring video if I can't even beat one of them. She just guard me. Just kill it. Oh. It was so straight. We are all eagle. Yeah. All right, let's go back into the fray. One sword down, three to go, and we have plenty of potions of bless. Focus. Ha. Come on, just hit it. And we are running. Out, out. Bloody swords. It was so straight. Yeah, I need the spells. I don't think I was getting much protection from the box skin anyway. All right. I'm pretty much I've pre uh, uh not I'm not going to get any profit from the uh, solving this particular quest line now, but I don't care. I want to beat those damn swords. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there we go. Just two swords remaining. And of 
course they insta kill him. That's fine. Go down! Die! Hit! Something, not me! Finally! Alright. <clears throat> we'll return to this next time. Thank you for watching.